Okay, so I've been craving chocolate chip cookies like a mofo, and since I've been doing this keto low carb thing, it's been hard to find one that I can eat. So I decided I was gonna make them on my own, and I went and I found a recipe, and the recipe asked for blanched almond flour, but I only had that Red Mill almond flour, which I think has skin on, that's the difference. And I thought it couldn't be that much different, but it was. It was a lot different. Let me show you. Let's start with son of a. <laughs> Let's start with looks first. This one is very branny looking. This one looks like a normal cookie. This one tastes like a bran flake. Uh, and I'm not sure if it tastes so much like a bran flake because it looks like one or because it actually tastes like a bran flake. And I took them to work and then one person said it sounded, it had like a coconut texture to it, like there was coconut in it. Another person said that it was, uh, if you had raisins and walnuts in it, that it may not be that big of a difference because it may just taste like a oatmeal cookie. Um, so I went out, I went to uh, Costco and I bought the Blanche and I bought, or I made these ones, same exact recipe. These I expected to be like a legit chocolate chip cookie, but they're still a little bit gritty. Um, I had my wife try them and she actually said that they were fantastic and she loved them. Um, and that the grittiness to them was not too bad. So if you're like me and you try to substitute non-blanched for blanched, you're gonna be screwed.